Hey, uh, Aldera, where was your boat? Oh, there it is. Awesome, dude. I can see the sails. I'm over here, man. Coo. Look at this thing. It's all like sleek isn't and boaty. Isn't she beautiful? Mm hmm. The JLS Doc M77, as I understand. Yep, that is correct. You wanna. This man, this seems like a really fun idea for a build. Do you wanna build one together sometime? Definitely. Alright. Let's get started. Yeah. Alrighty, yeah. <laughs> so I think this is a good concept for our boat build. What do you think, Aldra? Oh, it looks great. I think we should just make it a little bit bigger. I think it can go bigger too. Yep. Bigger. <laughs> now that's a ship. I introduce you to the JLS Fire Hazard. Hi everybody, this is James, and I'm here with Lord Aldera. Say hi, bud. Hey, everybody. And the Onyx Tiger. Who is apparently mute. Hi. <laughs> Anyone? Yep. No one? He's Five. pleading with the, the, the team speak gods to let his voice be heard. Um, anyway, so uh, I guess now we can get around to talking about the ship, which I almost call the boat every single time I say it and am correct by it Aldera boat. every time. It's a boat. Ship. Boat. We're trying to slowly corrupt Aldera's mind, and unfortunately it doesn't appear to be working. You see, Aldera knows about chips. Anywho, um, gonna take a quick look at the bow, which is a term that I have just recently learned. Um, or at least Again. learned to which, to, to which part of the ship it applied. Um, the first thing that we did is build the like the front section that's made out of uh, logs here and extended it all the way to the back and uh, quickly thereafter started failing at making the sides of the bow <laughs> repeatedly repeatedly um, over time we like i I did a lot of tinkering with it and uh, these guys were around. Me out and making stuff. fun of him. Yeah, making fun of my failed attempts, and eventually there was a reasonable shape to the bow, and as soon as that was done, Onyx copied it to the other side. Thank you, Onyx. My pleasure. Yes, and then this is pretty much where Onyx. This is where uh, Onyx came in a lot of the time. Um, once the uh, the shape that we were looking for for the sides was in place, he just copied it right to the end, so we didn't have to sit there placing block after block after block, saving us. Yo, would still be doing that. <laughs> this ship would not be done if Onyx was not here. Um, yeah, and then once that got to the back, it was mostly square, and eventually, and uh, then I started working on the corners here, uh, which looked like utter shit when I first started on them. <laughs> it was terrible. Like I, I I like looked stepped back and looked at it after I finished it the first time and went, No. Oh my god, somebody come look at this and tell me I'm I'm screwing up and somebody came and said, Hey, you you're you're screwing up and I'm like, okay. And then I redid it. And it was good and then I just copied it. So yeah, that's how that came to be. And then uh the uh deck was pretty much made by Onyx filling it in and um yeah, after that, uh, Aldera put in the fork, 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 No, that's the front. Uh, what is this thing? Yes, the aft decks. The aft decks. So, superstructure. It was meant as a, kind of like a, like a, like a, like a sailing ship at first. So, uh, yeah, that was... Why was if it that the, speak, the back what is? Would you say? <laughs> Why is it that the back was supposed to be higher again, Aldra? So that when they're steering or piloting the ship from the at the helm, they could see where the heck they were going. 
Oh yeah, because yeah, so there would only be like the mast and the sails in front of the uh, aft decks. I think is what you said. Uh, yeah. Yep. Originally, it was supposed to be a sailing ship, and then it kind of, as you can see, got out of hand. <laughs> I think we were just having way too much fun building this thing. Uh, Onyx wasn't around for when we were building the uh, central decks here, so uh, we built that all by hand. Took a lot of time getting it in place. It was a fun time. It, yeah. You have an odd definition of fun. Just saying. I don't know. As Alderaan would say, it's relaxing to place many, many blocks over and over and again. It is. I tend to agree. A lot okay. of the time. <laughs> uh, so, anywho, yeah, that was the uh, the central decks there. Um, spent a lot of time placing those there. Uh, oh, I had some fun with the slopes on the front and the back of the tops of the decks here. Uh, the back slopes are all one, and the front slopes are, as you can see here, two and two again. Yeah, I thought it looked really cool. Gave it a nice effect, like kind of sleek for well, as sleek as a big, gigantic hulk of a ship can be. And also, anyway, you can see on the front there. You you can tell I was involved. There's a tree. By that time, we had gotten into pure aesthetics. I think Alderaan put in the fountains on the side here. Oh, we'll get to that in uh, Alderaan's video. He's going to take us on a tour of the insides of the ship. Oh, uh, one more thing that I forgot to mention. Um, let's have a look at these cannons. They were the original design for the cannon was not. Uh, who did the original design? Radical Ollie and Searing Ice. Here are th Ollie did the main design, and I forget what the Ice did. Oh yeah, he uh, he came up with the idea for having a dispenser on the front. It was originally just going to be a cannon for show, and then it got to be a cannon for real. So yeah, uh, cannons. Um, those are the original like testing designs over there. And oh, I'm getting shot with the snowballs. Oh my God, I'm gonna die. We'll get to the uh, the cannons a little bit more in detail later, but yeah, they're awesome, aren't they? It's fully automatic. It's fully automatic, you guys. Anywho, um, yeah, uh, there will be a link in the description for the 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 next segment of the video, which will be on Alderaan's channel. Thanks for watching, guys, and bye now. Bye. Bye bye.